many nations, American, British, Canadian, and those driven from their homes by Nazi persecution have perfected the atomic bomb, most astounding development of scientific history. At the University of California, in absolute secrecy, Dr. Ernest O. Lawrence experimented with the cyclotron. Such work as his led to the splitting of the uranium atom, force of the atomic bomb. In the center of each atom is a nucleus of protons and neutrons. Around this nucleus revolve electrons, and the number of electrons determines the element. One electron forms hydrogen, two form helium, three electrons form lithium, and so on up to 92 electrons and uranium. For years, scientists have tried to break up this atom by shooting neutrons at its core, but the whirling electrons seemed impenetrable. Then finally, scientists broke through those walls with a slow neutron, releasing 500 million volts of energy and forming two new atoms, barium and krypton. The uranium atom was split, releasing unimaginable force. At Oak Ridge, Tennessee, are two of the giant plants where the atomic bomb is produced. A 59,000-acre military area, a city where 75,000 people worked in absolute secrecy on history's most sensational secret. tryout of this new cosmic force was held on the New Mexico desert, only 20 days before it devastated Hiroshima and Nagasaki in its first combat test. It is night. Army cameras six miles away record the historic explosion. This is the end result of years spent on research and production of feverish scientific labors to harness atomic power ahead of the enemy. Luminous smoke rises eight miles in the air. From another angle, still six miles away, another picture of the atomic eruption. The energy that generates the heat of the sun and operates the solar system comes under the will of humankind. The blast changes the atomic structure of everything it hits. Stone and steel are turned into gas. A third view of the same explosion. Incredible energy opens limitless horizons. President Truman speaks on this new force. The atomic bomb is too dangerous to be loose in a lawless world. That is why Great Britain, Canada, and the United States, who have the secret of its production, do not intend to reveal the secret until means have been found to control the bomb so as to protect ourselves and the rest of the world from the danger of total destruction. I shall ask Congress to cooperate to the end that his production and use be controlled and that his power be made an overwhelming influence toward world peace. We must constitute ourselves trustees of this new force to prevent its misuse and to turn it into the channels of service to mankind. It is an awful responsibility which has come to us. We thank God that it has come to us instead of to our enemy. And we pray that he may guide us to use it in his ways and for his purposes. <laughs>